Hi, let me tell you about the new feature in PDQ called Droplets. As we launch PDQ, you see a whole row of icons here uh, with the little text on them. And if I hover above them, they light up. Now, these can be used to make your life easier by doing tasks automated instead of manually. Let me show you what happens. I've got some demo files here. Say I want to print this photo on a size of 44 by 66 centimeters. I drop it on there and she's automatically scaled to 440 by 660 centimeters. Um, the method that's being used to get the image to fit can be determined. So if I use this one, which is more square and place that on a 44 by 66. You can see it still fits exactly the same page of 44 by 66. Now the way I've done that is by setting up my droplets. You can do that by going into setup, go to droplets, and you can see that the one I just used, this one, um, I can give it any name I want, so I can use it uh, uh, crop 4466. Define the width and the height. I usually try to make a name that matches my width so I remember what I'm doing. Um, and a method of placing your image onto the media size. So if your original is this, stretch would make the image go to the exact size you're defining, but you might get it out of proportion. If you use crop, you will get the right proportion but you will lose either at the sides or at the top and bottom um, some of the image if it's not in the same aspect ratio as your defined paper. <laughs> the last method you can use is fit which will make it actually always fit on the page that you're defining but you will have a white line at the bottom and top or right and left depending if it's landscape or portrait picture uh, because your image is not exactly the same size but you won't lose any of the picture. Um, okay, I'm defining it as a crop, 44 by 66. See, I've got also here one which is called 90W. It has a width defined, but not a height. So what happens with that one? Uh, make it slightly smaller. I'll make it 450 and call it 450 wide. What happens if I use that one and drop some images on there? Let's drop these two on the 40 by 50 wide they are automatically scaled to a width of 450 millimeters without changing the height and because this was a landscape picture and this was a portrait we now get completely different heights of images but we get the full width that we defined so you can define all droplets you like and as many as you like too and these are not defined yet so they're not active but the ones on the left are all defined and you can also use them in a different way um, say I want to use this image and make it 90 by 60. I click on the image and I click on the uh, droplet for 90 by 60 and the image will be recalculated and will actually be 90 by 60. So that's a very fast way to change your images um, to a certain size and do your production very rapidly. Of course if you don't want to have it all of these droplets showing you can go to setup and just switch off the ones you're not using. All of the definitions you're making in your uh, setup will be saved as soon as you hit the OK button so if I relaunch my PDQ now they will still have my droplets defined. It saves me a lot of time and makes it very easy for me to print at specific sizes. So that's the demo for droplets. Thank you.